Okay, guys, welcome to Tour de France 2021 uh, with stage three from Lorient to Pontivy. Uh, this is a sprinter stage. Uh, as you know, this is our first playthrough with the Ineos Grenadiers. We're here with Barneil. Uh, okay, so the last two races, we actually won the stages, which was quite interesting. Um, but now we've got a bit of a rest. We've got two days of flats, uh, which are going to be for the sprinters. So I'm going to let the sprinter teams kind of control the peloton a bit more. I'm going to relax, take it easy. We're just going to sit and, and ride it for the day pretty much. The main thing to grasp today is that the route is flat and it harbors no particular difficulties. A sprint finish is more than likely. As we've got the yellow jersey, we'll have to shoulder our responsibilities and set the pace in the peloton. Teams interested in the stage win will have to give us a hand towards the end. We don't have what it takes to be in the final sprint. If we want to make a showing, we'll have to be in the early breakaway. Have a good stage. Okay, now I've been rudely interrupted again. Uh, so yeah, so we uh, we have no interest. I've got no real sprinters on the team. We kind of based it for the mountains just to look after the general uh, classifications. Uh, but I do expect some of these other teams, so we're hoping that they will take over. Uh, like Movistar, Bahrain maybe, uh, Israel Star Nation, they have a few, uh, Bora Hansgrove. Hopefully they're going to take up most of the peloton uh, duties today. Uh, and then the big one on stage five, I'm a bit worried about. The time trialing, I am terrible at this game. Uh, I have a feeling that we will probably drop the yellow jersey up by stage five. I've only got 18 seconds on Lander, 26 on Rodlich. Um yeah, I don't think it's going to be enough. I think I'm too terrible at them, but we'll see. We can fingers crossed and hope for the best. So let's get on with today's uh, stage. Hello and welcome to all. Given the profile of today's stage, it's clear that the sprinters will have ambitions for victory. It will be very surprising if they don't harness their teammates to target a mass sprint in Pontiv. Okay, so we're here on the, the depart. Um... Like I said, I'm not expecting very much. I'm not going to be putting any effort in. Uh, I won't put Ineos to the front unless needed. Uh, I'm not too worried. I'm pretty sure most of the uh, sprint teams will want to chase down any breakaway today. I can't imagine them letting them go too far. The there we go. Have just set out and already there's, an attack. there's a couple of them off now already. There's plenty of movement. New attack. I'm just going to bring myself in, sit behind okay, Port here. Okay, you find us here at the bottom of this very short climb here. Uh, Cote du Coudel, 1.8 kilometers at 6.2. Uh, again, I've lost my teammate. Uh, we've not done anything today so far. I've literally let everybody else. Uh, lots of Sidel seem to be the team doing most of the work. Uh, FDJ seems to be doing a lot of the work today as well. Um, I'm just going to sit behind Yates. Port should be here for me. There he is. Um, we're not expending too much energy today. Like I said, we're just kind of relaxing, letting everyone else do the work. They have brought the breakaway down to under four minutes now. It did get up to seven. So they definitely are doing a lot more work now at the front. The lead group is coming to the feed zone. Uh, the peloton is still here, of course. Carapaz is the just behind me. Quite hard to read in the breakaway. With this lead, they can start to believe it. Yeah, they're not going to get away. Getting behind port. Okay, guys, you find us uh, with uh, about six kilometers to go. Uh, we're right back in the peloton now. I'm letting the sprint teams start racing towards the front. Uh, be interesting to see who's going to take the stage today. Um, we've had a nice day out. We've not used too much energy. The teams have managed this stage perfectly. Five kilometers out, the peloton is bunched and everything is in place for a mass sprint. Just five more kilometers. Get ready to sprint. We must win to secure the green jersey. Again, I'm not particularly worried about the green jersey. I just want to make sure there's no crashes, that it's we're going to get there safe. Okay. The sprinters are ready to fight it out. I'm trying to sit behind uh, Port. My team are here near the front. They don't seem to have organized themselves very well at the front of the race, though. Looking over, they've got a nice hairpin now. Here is the winner of the Lorient Pontivy! 
Okay, Van der Poel, uh, he won the stage. Very, very nice. He will now go into the green jersey, I believe. Congratulations to him. He managed to maneuver perfectly to snatch this victory. He can savor this moment. He tops the standings and will And obviously we're the still sitting in the GC. Here's the yellow jersey of this Tour de France. England Bernal. We can say he's in sparkling form. He will climb onto the post. Okay, so Van der Poel came in first. Nice. Uh, Van Aert wasn't too far behind. Impey wasn't too far behind him. Yeah, it wasn't a bad... Uh, I feel like it was a bit of a messy sprint. I don't think the AI sorted themselves out of any lead-out trains properly. Um, but obviously, we feel we finished in the peloton, uh, so, you know, we didn't lose any time, uh, which is expected for this stage. Very, uh, very flat for us. But anyways, uh, we'll bring on to uh, stage four the next episode. If you are enjoying this content, please do subscribe down below to the channel. Hit the bell icon for notifications. Upload nearly every single day. I love myself, guys. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye for now.